On June 26, 2020, at 12 a.m. GMT, a Cold Space Rescue Challenge map was issued to iCool participants from around the world. All participants were given 24 hours to develop AI strategies to solve the same challenge. In Cold Space Rescue Challenge, teams are required to build a real robot, develop and program appropriate algorithms and strategies for both real and virtual autonomous robots to navigate through both real and virtual worlds. Additionally, they have to search and collect objects while competing with another team's robot that is also searching and collecting objects in the same real and virtual worlds. During the challenge, the robot needs to overcome barriers, avoid traps, and swamps. If the robot successfully makes a deposit, the points of the objects deposited will be doubled. The virtual field has been divided into a 3x3 matrix. When the robot moves into each section, the robot's corresponding location information will be assigned to the robot. The location information can be used for the development of AI algorithms and strategies, such as path planning and search algorithms. The winner of the challenge will be the robot with the highest points. Hello everyone, I am a junior high school student from Taiwan. This is my first time to join this competition. My name is Xu Wen Wan. I learned this for one year. My team ID is TW50093. My category is RCAP Coast Base Rescue Challenge, first day under 19. Strategy 1 along the wall. This is my room in my map. I use along the wall to get more score in shortest time. Strategy 2. Marker. There are two markers in the map. One of them is purple. Another is green. I use two markers to let the robot turn to certain way more precisely or get score more faster. Strategy 3. RGB. If the robot collects one set of red, cyan, and black at one go and deposits them successfully, it can receive 90 points. Strategy 4. Going to deposit area. There are some tips can deposit well. For example, if the right color sensor that detect the orange area, it will turn right to deposit well, too. When the robot is deposited successfully, you can let it to move forward or move backward. It can position the path easily. Filling. This is my first time to join Cold Space competition. I think it is very profound because it has many things I can learn, in my view. Learning new things is difficult, but interesting. I think the most interesting thing in code space is that finish a coding by myself. It will learn, it will let me feel full of sense of accomplishment. And the difficult part is when I come up a good idea but I don't know how to write it down by C code. No, I can't find the every mistake in my code, but I'm still...
Hey guys, I am Heng Teng Yi from Singapore. I am participating in Cold Space Rescue First Steps U19. I've been doing robotics competitively for about one and a half years now as part of my school's robotics club. So for the strategy of the robot, the main plan is to collect two red, two cyan, and two black objects and deposit them to get the full 180 point bonus, repeating this as many times as possible. The map is quite open and each color spawns in specific squares. So using probabilistic search based on what colors the robot needs, the robot travels to squares which have the highest chance of containing those colors. And once there are six objects, it deposits at the top square. So how does the robot know how to move towards a certain square? Firstly, there is a target angle that we want the robot to move forward at. For example, if we want to move the robot one square to the left, then we will want to move such that the compass reading is 90 degrees. Using the compass reading and proportional control, the steering rate of the robot is adjusted to rotate the robot towards this target angle. But when it is moving towards the square, we also want to make sure it does not run into walls and obstacles. So to handle this, there is another steering rate for wall avoidance when any of the ultrasonic sensors have a reading below 25 to rotate the robot out of harm's way. The lower the ultrasonic readings, the higher the steering rate for wall avoidance and the lower the steering rate for square targeting. And finally, to avoid losing objects, there is also trap avoidance. To prevent the robot from running into traps, it slows down to 80% speed when it is facing the traps so that the robot can see the warning in time before running into the trap. And once it sees the warning, it will reverse and rotate out of the way. Overall, I learned quite a lot from this experience. I've done RoboCup before, last year, but my role was mainly working on hardware for RCJ Soccer. So this was my first time programming for a robotics competition and also working on a search problem. Okay, that's it. Thank you and bye. And off we go! In this demo game, we will minimize any manual intervention. Red Robot uses marker to navigate into special zone. Red Robot has a set of red, black, and cyan objects. It can generate a super object. Red Robot is depositing. Blue Robot is running into difficulties. System will reset it. Blue Robot is searching in the blue special area. Any objects picked up in this area will double in value. Blue Robot is depositing. 
blue robot has overtaken red robot. Red robot is depositing. Red robot has overtaken blue robot. Blue robot is depositing. Oh no! Red robot has fallen into the trap. Points of the undeposited objects are reset and lost. Red robot is depositing. Blue robot is searching in the blue special area. Any objects picked up in this area will double in value. Blue robot is depositing. Red robot is depositing. Blue robot is depositing. One minute left. Blue robot is leading. Blue robot is depositing. Rat robot is depositing. Blue Robot wins this challenge. Congratulations!